Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me this evening. And it is evening, both in game time and in real life. We are back in the Red Ridge Mountains and we have a couple of things to do here still that are just standout quests that we've had. Uh, the one that's really been bothering my OCD is Solomon's Law and I'm sure that's going to chain into something else. And we also have our warrior quest that starts here at the Lakeshire Inn. So we're going to go check that out as well. I'd like to say eventually we're going to just naturally complete this. But I think I've had the spider meat and condor meat and sold it multiple times. So I can't promise anything. I did clear out our bags. And we are going to take whatever this quest is that guard Howie has. Blackrock Bounty. The Blackrock clan must be destroyed. The enemy has invaded our lands. These mountains fall under the sovereign right of the King of Stormwind. Our sources tell us that the leaders of each unit within the clan are known as champions. You'll find them in their encampments to the north, just west of the road to the Burning Steeps. Go with honor, so man. we've actually had that quest before, we never did it, and I think it was one that we dropped from our quest log back when we were in a different area trying to make room in our very limited quest log as you can see which is why it would be great to uh, complete some of these and I'm sure this is another one that we at one point had and then dropped Can I help you? he has a lot of stuff uh, that we could be doing this may or may not overlap with Solomon's Law, so I think we'll take this. A baying of gnolls. As if the attacking orcs weren't enough. Now I have gnoll brutes and mystics prowling along in the ridge north of my stable, taking my horses when they stray. If you could get rid of those gnolls, my horses and I would be grateful. Have a good one. Not connected, but relatively close by. And I'm surprised we haven't done that one. So maybe that will be one of the first things we wade our toes into here getting back into Red Ridge Mountains. I do want to find the warrior trainer first because I want to make sure we have room in our quest log to take his quest unless it's something like really far away and then we might just hold off until we're ready knowing that he's here. How are you? Ha! So you heard of my challenge, did you? Well, sit down and listen. Have a drink and savor it, because it might be your last. Be good. Sounds daunting. I call my challenge the Rethben Gauntlet. To pass the trial, all you must do is enter the Re Rethben Caverns to the first fork, then return here. Easy, except there are a few wrinkles. You have to return within an hour. There are whole heaps of Red Ridge Knolls in the way. Before you start, you have to take a swig of my family's signature drink, Barley Brew Scalder. What do you say? The Rethben Caverns are in the foothills north of Lakeshire. Are you ready to run the Rethben Gauntlet? <laughs> as awesome as this sounds, and it does sound pretty damn sweet, uh, we're going to hold off. It's a timed quest, so we're going to have to hit it pretty hard, and we're going to have to, we're going to want to have a very good idea of where it is, and I don't. Foothills north of Lakeshire. So yeah, yes. let's decline for now. Maybe here? Like, maybe if we go kill some gnolls, we can run over here and check this out. And see if this is Rethband's Cavern. And then we'll know when we start the timer, we'll know exactly where to go. <laughs> and since you guys know I don't know my east from west, knowing exactly where to go is pretty darn important to me. So let's see. We're going to run up and... Hopefully knock out uh, a bang of gnolls. I'm hoping there will be some folks on this evening who we can group up with for what seems like a very easy kill quest that we just didn't do. I'll have to watch the playback and see what led to that decision. And then we could even do, we could even go all the way up to the north after that and try to take on these champions. I think we're at level for it now. So maybe we'll cut through here, come up here, check out this cavern, come back around, and if we can't find a shortcut, which I'm like kind of curious about this area here, 
I don't know, you guys probably can't even see me circling that. But uh, if we can't find a shortcut through the mountains, we will take the main road around. So we'll head kind of in a circle around that central mountain range. Uh, that was one thing I noticed, I think, on the playback, is that you guys can't see my mouse cursor when I am in the map, I don't think. And that's really weird. I'll have to check my recordings. I'm assuming it's something on my end. But I'm, like, circling stuff and talking about it and realizing, well, no one knows what the hell you're talking about, Robert. They can't see your cursor. Which kind of defeats the whole point of circling stuff furiously with it. Uh, so yeah, right, <laughs> we we literally just head around the corner, and we've got, uh, we've got Brutes, or Mystics at least, and Brutes up there, so let's see about this guy over here, level 23, we can maybe invite him. Yeah, I'm right here, man, here I am, let's do this. Alright, well, we're both warriors, uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm just kind of assuming that we're, we're doing the same thing here. We could check our log. He's not... He doesn't have the quest. He's completed it. I, I don't know. A little bit of confusion here. Alright, so he, in fact, was not working on Baying of Knolls. Level 18, you're probably working on Baying of Knolls. Let's ask this time. And not just assume, hmm? That would be polite. Yeah, I'm not sure what that other guy was up here for, but he had already completed the quest. We could probably just do it solo. Uh, I just like to grab people when I can for kill quests. It just makes it go a little faster, and a lot of times it's just more fun and interesting. This person only needs two more of the brutes so but maybe we'll jump into another group after that i need mystics i'm gonna go for whatever what's going on up here mystic another mystic i'm gonna go over here and grab this mystic so we can make some progress they'll at least benefit from the kill experience assuming they don't get too far away I didn't need help, I just kind of figured that they would do their thing and go find uh, what they need. Which looks like, uh, that's a basher. Maybe, maybe bashers are a follow-up. Here we go. Alpha. Mystic. No brutes though, brutes must be mainly back this way. All this typing. I just kind of like when things happen. Like, organically. An unspoken nod from one adventurer to another as we charge in and just kind of kill stuff instead of trying to like plan out what we're doing. I just assume that when people don't need anything anymore from an area, they'll say farewell, drop group, and run off. I definitely don't ever expect anyone to stick around in the group and help me finish. Um, I've done that a couple of times. If it's a high pop area, but, you know, that's not really what I'm looking for out of groups. Ah, uh, see, we, we had a quest for these two. We'll have to grab the underbelly scales. We could be, we could be working on that at the same time. You'd think maybe the spawn rate would be a little bit... A little bit higher for the number of people that are out here. Mystic. Well, I mean, we'll take it. Hey, there's a whole camp. Let's take this guy out first. No need for that lightning bolt. No need. He's, he's gonna run, isn't he? Oh, he didn't even... Oh, shoot. Okay. Here we go. Okay, someone else picked up the Mystic, so that's that's a good call. 
It would help if we click to attack. Be really cool, actually. See, that was fun, Mish. That alpha is like resetting, I think. No, maybe not. There's so many different types out here that I have to think we're going to be back up here to take on bashers and alphas and all kinds of stuff. Which will be nice now that we're actually a couple. I feel bad. See, she came up here to help me when she should have been down here watching for bashers. I don't need help killing stuff. I'm level 24. You're level 18. It's best when you're in a party if you if you don't attack the same thing unless you absolutely have to focus a powerful enemy down. It's best just to go off and kill on your own. And, and it's just, you know, working together mutually on kill quests like this. Best case scenario, while I'm fighting something, she would be down here catching, tagging a spawn, you know. But I, I think some people already know that and some people will grow to learn that. And and maybe some people will never realize that. I don't, I don't know. It's quite a learning curve to classic in reality, especially if you're brand new to the game, if you've never played, you know, maybe pre-Cataclysm at all, or maybe you picked it up during Lich King. If, if you've never played Burning Crusade even, then a lot of things are going to be new to you. I mean, I'm constantly remembering things that I, I'd forgotten and learning them again. Again for the second time. I hope that was actually useful. It looks like it was. Well, we got our mystics really fast. Um, what does seem to be in short supply here are the bashers. Which makes sense why this hunter still needs a basher. At least I'm hoping that she st just needs a basher. I'll, I'll communicate. Or brute rather, not basher. Yeah, see, here's a basher, but, um, you know, not what we need. Yeah, I just, I would rather, if they don't need anything from it, I'd rather be here by myself, you know, not not wasting somebody else's time. It's totally out of respect for their time because especially in classic time, everything takes so much time. So I definitely would never want someone hanging out with me in a low a low respawn area uh, with a long respawn timer just trying to get a couple of easy kills, you know, that I can I can take care of. No problem. And I'll edit some of this out because I do feel like we're going to be here for a little bit. We, we could find out if we could take this camp by ourselves, And to do this, we're going to use Retaliation. And we're going to focus the Mystic and make sure that we Shield Bash him. But I am going to try to do this. Slow their attack down. Make sure we're buffed up and we'll pop retaliation now. Oh, he gotta heal off. Shit, that could That could ruin this. Um we can't let him do that again. We do have a healing potion if things just go incredibly sideways. I don't want him to get away. 
I mean, these guys are gray, so... I think we got this. Even without the healing potion. So that got us two brutes. Many more to go. We need to grab this one before he gets tagged. I have a sea of unlooted bodies behind me and plenty of bag space for once. I need to rectify this situation ASAP. Null spittle. Just what I always wanted in the bottom of my bag. Gotta find time to work on our alchemy. It's just been hard to find the time and play any other games at all, which I am very much interested in other games as well as this game, so. It's all about time and resources. Both are lacking. Oh no you don't. Not on my watch. Alright, what do we get? Hey, that's freaking sweet. That's an upgrade. Even though it only requires level 14. You know, the damage per second is a little lower. But the top end damage is higher and it's slower. I think what we have is actually better. But, this has strength and stamina on it, not strength and agility. And those are more, we could probably use the stamina. Let's equip it for a little bit, at least to level up our mace skill. It looks like a tiny work hammer, that's awesome. Alright, let's go to it. Oh no! I hope we helped, I don't know if we did. I thought someone was gonna die. I don't want that to happen. That's what's kind of cool about being a healer is if like if somebody does die, you know I can res them. Now it's like if I don't act quickly and save them, I can't do anything. I don't need this guy, but experience never hurts. That's a long cast time, buddy. I like it. Do we even need to be leveling up our maces? I mean, not really. Not particularly. Let's go back to the sword. It's just going to be more damage. But that's a cool find. I probably could have been really smart and instead of equipping it, I could have sold it on the auction house. I've been really bad about getting onto the auction house and selling stuff and I know I'm just missing out on a ton of silver. So I feel badly, but it comes back to the time and resources thing like it always does. We're going in. Come on, start casting. You know you want to. I bash too soon. Oh, woe is me. It doesn't matter. He, we're good. He's going to heal. That's just fine. It's all fine. And it's fine because you guys are weak. Otherwise, kids, we'd be in trouble. Usually I'm accused of shield bashing too late, not too early. That's a first. I was just thinking about it too much, you know? I'm gonna shield bash, I'm gonna shield bash, I'm shield bashing. I shield bash too early. I don't want to wait for this whole camp to come back up. Because then we'd be up to eight. And I don't think unless a group comes through, anybody else is going to pull this camp. Because only I left this quest for level 24. <laughs> Apparently. I'm just really smart like that. 
That's a basher. See, I don't even think the brutes are spawning back here. I, there may be an entire other area where they are spawning, but it's not around that campfire. So we're gonna chill here and we'll do some more editing magic. All right, they're back. They're all brutes this time. We know what to do. He'll bleed out. I don't think he's gonna get to anybody important, so... Yeah, he bled out over there. Alright. Hey, that was awesome. I didn't realize they could drop in whatever combination they wanted. That's great. We got three there. And now we just need one more. So I was just standing next to a hunter and I saw this in my log and he's feeding his pet and then I remembered that yeah in classic hunters had to feed their pets to keep them happy because if your pet got unhappy with you if you ran out of food in the middle of Hillsbrad and kept on questing and ignored your pet's happiness uh, the pet would leave you. So. And that was another thing, like I had mentioned earlier, I had known that at one point, played a hunter for a little bit, and I had forgotten it completely until just now. And I'm not even sure why that showed up in the log of things that happened to me. It's kind of weird, but uh, interesting nonetheless. So we've got our last knoll. Let's just go back and we'll turn this in. And then we'll see what we want to do next. I did also take care of the couple of quests we had that turned in in Stormwind. And one of them actually is the one that led, leads us back to Westfall, so. You need something? Forgot to mention that. Alright, so, yeah, this is gonna. Yowler, Yowler, we've seen Yowler, I believe. We can take this one. The gnolls are still out there. I can hear their baying as they hunt in the hills above Lakeshire. And one cry is louder than the rest. Yowler, their leader. Kill Yowler and send his pack scattering. Bring me his paw as proof. And be careful. This gnoll is their leader for a reason. He is no mongrel. Alright, are we getting anything useful? A finger, if nothing else. Uh, but yeah, we could really use those boots. So let's go find Yowler. And I remember seeing him at one point. Uh, but have since kind of forgotten where that was. He could just be back, like further back in that area. And we still want to check this cave out. So I'm going to head back over here, see if I can find Yowler anywhere. Well, we haven't found Yowler yet, but we were correct about the Rethbon Caverns. It's the cave directly to the north and east of Lakeshire. So that's good. We'll know where this is when we need to go check this out. Uh, let's just take a little peek. And I doubt Yowler's in there. That, that wouldn't really make any sense. But so now we know exactly the route to run when we do have our timer for the warrior quest. So very cool. And now we continue the epic search for Yowler. The good news is we've tagged Yowler. The bad news is it was kind of a cluster with some other players and we've also tagged a couple of other things that are not Yowler, I think. So we'll see how this plays out. We don't have retaliation, uh, but we do have a pretty good potion that we're going to pop now. And my focus is going to be on getting Yowler down before we die. I don't know that's going to happen. And I'm definitely not going to get any help, apparently, so... <laughs> Uh, fail one on 
Yowler. So we're over here. At least we know how to get back to him after the 25 minute spirit run. Wish me luck. Alright, we are back. Uh, everybody's cleared out of here. So if we are patient, we... We might have a good shot at Yowler. Maybe, actually, well, it looks like he just reset. So maybe the people who grabbed him after me didn't make it. However, he's still marked as being tagged. You can see his name is Gray. I don't really want to fight him if I'm not going to get the credit for it. It's kind of weird because he is reset. Ugh. But, you know, I guess we could try to kill him and see what happens. I am just assuming it's going to come to nothing. Because he does show as tagged for somebody, even though that shouldn't be the case. If he's reset or they've died, he should be able to be tagged anew. But, you know, bugs happen. Bugs happen. He's pretty damn strong. Say that. Which makes sense why we couldn't get him down before we got murdered. And I'm just kind of hoping his buddies don't all respawn right on top of us. Oh, he's a runner. Yeah, and see, I can't loot him, so that's kind of a downer. But at least we've seen the fight now. And now we have to hope we could tag him again and not tag anything else. It seems like at the point we're at now, if you're not in a group and you pull a named mob by yourself because you just managed to tag it because you're faster, um, if you get yourself into a bad situation, no one's going to help you. They're going to wait for you to die so that their group can tag the name mob, which, I mean, it makes sense. But, you know, I always help people. That's just my, that's just what I do in the game. So we're just going to have to hope that we can keep the area clear and tag him just by himself because I don't know if we can take him with somebody else unless 8 minutes passes. And then we could use retaliation and we're good to go. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And so we finally got Yowler's paw. Uh, I was in a group and they pulled the... before I was ready. So the good news is we got him. The bad news is there's no proof of it. Except that we have the item. And we're just going to head back to Red Ridge. Or sorry. We're going to head back to Lakeshire. And we're going to turn this in. While trying not to get killed along the way. So this guy's problem should be concluded. Again, thank you for your help. The Stormwind army is so busy dealing with the orcs, they don't have time or the troops to protect Red Ridge from local threats like the Knolls. Well, that's a shame, but we profit from it. I'm happy for this guy because now his horses aren't getting stolen, uh, he can get good sleep again without yowler yowling, and I know what it's like to uh, just have terrible sleep due to your Knoll neighbors, so I can empathize with him a little bit. And we're going to grab a couple of things from him for next time because we're gonna take a little break here seems like a good point to take a break we solved all of Werner's problems so I feel good about that let me know what you guys think in the comments below I'd really appreciate any feedback if you like the video give it a like if you want to see more wild videos please subscribe and ring the bell it helps me out a lot thank you so much for joining me today take care and wish me luck